Hi and welcome to Point of Sale Module 4, X and Z Reports. Please remember that there is a one-page printed handout that accompanies this training video. There is no need for you to take notes because we've done that for you. And once the video is over, this is going to serve as a reference guide. Actually, the front of this is going to be a reference guide as to what's contained in the X and Z reports. And on the back page, you're going to have a printed step-by-step -step checklist on how to pull your X and Z reports. Here on the screen, I have a sample of a Z report. And please keep in mind that the X and the Z report are pretty much exactly the same thing. The only difference is an X report can be run while a batch is still open. A Z report is run only after the batch is closed. Other than that, they're pretty much in the same format and have almost exactly the same information. Now, the sample that I have on the screen here is the same sample that is on your handout. And we've identified the various sections here for your convenience. So let's take a look. Under number one, you're going to see timestamp information, specifically the date and time that this report was run. Under number two, you're going to see identification information, the register name, to whom the batch profile was assigned, employee, manager, or owner. Uh, the batch status, is it open or closed? This is a Z report, so the batch status is closed. If this was an X report, it would still be open. You will see the start date and time. That means the date and time that the batch was started or opened. And the closing date and time, if ap applicable. Since this is a Z report, this is the date and time that the batch was closed. If you were running an X report, the batch would still be open and there would be no closing date and time. Under number three here, you're going to see item totals. You'll see the opening total, or the till, and your total of your item sales, item returns, void transactions, tax, and a subtotal here. Under number four, you're going to see changes to that total, the total amount paid out, the total added cash, the total dropped cash, and so on. Number five is a very important field, cash drawer expected. This is the bottom line. When everything is taken into consideration, number five is telling you this is the amount of cash that should be in your cash drawer. If yours is different, that's where you need to carefully start looking at all the different transactions to figure out what's wrong. Number six shows you the total amount of your discounts and account for your total no sales, total number of no sales, and total number of voids. Number seven is an additional summary of your tax. Let me move the display here for you for number eight. This is going to contain a subtotal by payment method. You'll see your total taken in in cash, total taken in by check, and total taken in by credit card listed individually by credit card type. So you'd see your total by American Express, total by Discover, by Visa, by MasterCard, and so on. Under number nine, you will see a count total. I had two cash transactions in total, one check transaction, and one American Express. Again, this is going to be listed by individual credit cards. So you'd see how many American Express cards did you charge, how many Visas, Discovers, and MasterCards, and so on. Number 10 is a real nice little feature that is going to give you some enhanced visibility into your daily income and sales. It's going to break down your sales hourly and it'll show you the amount in each hour of the day for the time that that batch was open. And finally, number 11 are detailed notes of everything that happened while that batch was open, date and time stamped along with the notes that you entered. Okay, now let's take a look at how to run the X and Z reports. I'm over here at the point of sale tasks screen in payments and product sales. And getting a report is just as easy as clicking on it. I have the X and Z reports here. Let's uh, start with an X report. So I just click here on X report. And there's my preview of the X report. If you want to print this, by the way, you can see that it's formatted for this three inch wide receipt tape. So I would just click here on print confirm the printer and you'll hear that thing fire up right now and it's printing my X report on this little three inch receipt tape. There's your X report. Okay, let's say that you want to pull a Z report. Now remember, you can only pull a Z report once a batch is closed. My batch is open right now. So take a look at what happens if I ask for the Z report. It's going to say, viewing the Z report is going to close the batch. Are you sure you want to close the batch? I'll say yes. My batch closes and it displays the Z report. Okay, take a look now and you will see because my batch is closed, I no longer have any of these options. My cash drawer history is gone. You might be thinking, how do I get a Z report now? The batch is closed, I can't ask for it. Very simple. We've given you a find report button. You click here, you can specify the date range. So you can find a Z report in any date range. I'd like to find it for right here, right now, today's date. So I click on next. I only have one batch that was open today. Here it is. And if I click on it, that pulls up the Z report for that batch. 
That's all that there is to X and Z reports. One section left in the point of sale training module. Go ahead and take the exam at this time for module four, and I'll see you for a final section in module five.